In this video, I'm gonna talk to you about four of the common myths about protein. My name is Nefilo Rosario and I am a holistic nutritionist and best-selling author here in New York City and in this channel I discuss everything about nutrition, fitness and exercise that will help you melt that fat off and if you're into that please consider subscribing. My mission is to inspire you to become the better version of yourself using the power of nutrition. And if you're someone who's trying to lose weight, I wrote a book, Health Freedom, Your Way to Success for You. In this book, I discuss everything about fitness and exercise that I went through so you can know what to expect going through your own weight loss journey. And if you read my book, I really appreciate it. I just came back from the gym from a very good leg and bicep workout, destroyed my biceps today. I was thinking a little bit of how the fitness industry have put in our minds things so they can sell more products and stuff. So you always hear that protein is the best thing ever. Yes, protein is important, but you must keep in mind about these four things I'm going to tell you. The first myth that I encounter with clients and other people is that protein is only found in meat, eggs, and dairy. That's simply not true. There are many plant sources that contain protein, things like legumes, like beans and rice and nuts and seeds, even spinach, they have a ton of protein. And if you eat enough of them, and even if you're a vegan and you don't eat meat, you can have enough protein in your diet eating from those plant sources that it's not really necessary for you to eat meat. And that gets into the second myth that you're not getting enough protein in your diet, especially for vegan or vegetarian. This is not true, again, because you can get enough protein from plant sources and most people are okay with getting 0.5 grams of protein per pound of body weight every single day. Most people are not athletes so most people don't really get the benefit of eating 1 gram per pound of body weight of protein. More people are okay with half of that. I have met all the triathletes and cyclists who are extremely vegan. They eat about 60 grams of protein every single day. They have very good physiques. They are very fast. They're very strong and they don't eat that much protein because they emphasize the carbs so they can do their sport. If they can eat 60 grams of protein and they can be, you know, very good athletes, what's stopping you and I, a regular human being, from eating a little bit less protein? The third myth is that the more protein that you eat, the better. So when I was in the ketogenic diet, I almost went carnivore. I was eating around 300 grams of protein every single day. I eat around 3000 calories every day and I was eating so much protein and so much fat and no carbs. Yes, I was very good at running long distances, but the problem is that I couldn't sprint or anything because I had no carbs. Eating just protein in your diet is gonna lead you to have a very unbalanced diet. It's going to lead to nutrient imbalances in the future. A solution for this is that you must eat a balanced diet that includes all food groups. It includes grains, it includes fruits, it includes oils, nuts, seeds, it includes everything. This is gonna give you the ability of eating foods that you still enjoy or creating recipes that are very tasty and still will allow you to eat enough protein because most people don't need over 0.8 grams of protein per pound of body weight. Yes, you can eat more protein if you wish to. Yeah, it's gonna keep you more satiated for longer. Yes, it's gonna create a very thermic effect of food and it's gonna make you burn more calories, but you should always aim for a balanced diet. There's no point of you excluding food groups. There's no point of you just eating meat like I was doing. The problem with that is that if I only eat protein and fat, then I will have the ability to explode in the gym with heavy weights or sprint really fast in the bike. So you have to keep in mind that eating a balanced diet of not just protein is more beneficial than just eating protein by itself. The fourth myth is just tied to everything is that you need extra protein to build muscle. Like I said before, I've met many other athletes who eat way less protein than I eat and they have better physiques than me. Uh, the amount of muscle that you have, I believe is mostly genetic. If you chose the right parents and you have a very good training program and a very good diet that contains all food groups, you're gonna build a good physique. Even if you eat less than one gram of protein per pound of body weight, you can eat 0.5 
grams of protein per pound of body weight and you can still build a very decent physique because that's basically based on your genetics and if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button hit the subscribe button notification bell so you can get videos like these every single week to inspire you to become the healthiest version of yourself also here's two videos of me that you need to watch right now and learn something new i love every single one of you